According to a study by Doreen and Rosher, 78.5% of dogs taken to a veterinary practice exhibit fear-related behavior. The significance of this statistic has numerous implications. Fear compromises the welfare of a dog as it puts a strain on the animal. The dog's reaction may also create a potentially hazardous environment for handlers and surrounding personnel. Therefore, recognizing and understanding fearful behavior will aid in correctly handling and interacting with dogs in a safe and comfortable manner. As demonstrated by this video, the behavior of this dog, comfortable in his surroundings, appears relaxed and at ease. The dog appears affectionate or tolerable of the present people, is adapting to change with minimal problems, and readily gives up control of space, food, toys, and other objects. According to Hetz, Heinke, and Estep, a behaviorally healthy dog will also readily respond to trained commands. When confronted with a familiar object, behavior appears playful. The dog seems attracted to the object and displays a wagging tail. However, when confronted with a perceived threatening or dangerous situation, a dog's behavior will change, indicating its fear. Fear can range from a startled response to an extreme phobia which may impair the dog's ability to function normally. A study by Deporter indicates that noise phobias, such as thunder and fireworks, are the most prevalent among dogs, although fear of separation, strangers, and inanimate objects, such as this watering can, are also frequent. Typically, when confronted with a fear-inducing stimulus, a dog will exhibit one of two responses, fight or flight. As demonstrated in this video, when confronted with an unfamiliar novel object, such as this waving plastic bag, the dog attempts to escape from the fear-inducing stimuli. Our subject's fear can be identified by a number of behavioral signs. For instance, the head and body are clearly held in a lowered position and the muscles appear tense. In addition, the tail is tucked between the legs and the ears are pulled back. The subject maintains brief and indirect eye contact with the stimulus for the duration of the trial. These behavioral attributes may be an evolutionary response to make the animal appear as small as possible and therefore as less of a threat. Flight itself is an evolutionary response as animals learn from past experiences to initiate a preventative response in order to survive. In the fight response, the dog enters a state of fear-induced aggression. Fear aggression is relatively common, although not always recognized. In a study by Gallick and Nolt of 284 dogs referred for behavioral problems, 76 were diagnosed with fear-induced aggression. As demonstrated by the accompanying video, when all escape routes are blocked, the dog resorts to aggression. A number of typical behavioral signs accompany the fear-induced aggressive state. For instance, the dog in this video looks directly at the stimulus and demonstrates piloerection, bristling of the fur. In addition, the dog adopts a lowered head and body position. The hackles are raised and the ears are pulled back. The dog also begins to growl and bark. Physiologically, when an animal experiences fear, signals are transduced through the amygdala, causing autonomic neuroendocrine and muscular responses. The activation of the sympathetic nervous system and release of epinephrine and norepinephrine result in an increase of arterial pressure, heart rate, respiration rate, and an increase of blood flow to the active muscles. There is also an increase in blood glucose concentration due to increased glycolysis in the liver and muscles. Mental activity appears to be heightened. A study by Gainon in 1977 determined that all senses, touch, sight, and hearing, are more acute in a dog in a fearful state. In addition, there is an increase in the rate of cell metabolism throughout the body, and some animals may experience anal gland expression. All of these physiological responses allow quick thinking and escape in the event of perceived danger. It is important to note that fear can be overcome in the dog, typically by one of two methods, flooding or systematic desensitization. In flooding, the subject is exposed to the full intensity of the stimuli for a prolonged period of time with no outlets for escape. However, according to Deporter, flooding has often been demonstrated to further traumatize the subject. In systematic desensitization, the subject is gradually exposed to increasing intensity of the stimulus over a period of time. Counter conditioning may also be used to encourage relaxation by pairing rewards with gradual levels of exposure to the fear-inducing stimulus. In a study by Butler A. All on separation anxiety in dogs, this technique was demonstrated to be highly effective in eliminating the behavioral problem.